Hello, this is Kristen, and today I am doing my Pixie unboxing. I will say I did do this video once already, and the quality of the video wasn't very good, so I decided to redo it. I think it might have been because I was doing it at night. Because I'm looking at the screen now, and it looks fine. It doesn't mean it's necessarily going to look fine when I'm done, but I'm hoping it was just the lighting. So, don't you love that sound? So this is the little card that comes with it this month for December, and it just says, pretty sure it says, Brave Soul, or You Are a Brave Soul. So I was really kind of expecting it to be more Christmassy, like last month was all sparkly and it seemed very festive. This seems like, I don't know, like it should be coming to me in the summer time or something, I don't know. And then this is the bag. It is a cute little black bag with a little keychain. When my, mine actually got here, it was like crumpled up like this in my bag. I was kind of like, first time I saw it, I was like, this looks like crap. I don't want it. But after unwrapping it, I was like, it is actually a cute bag. And I like the little keychain. I don't know if I'm going to keep it on here. I might actually take it off and put it on my keys. Because I need a new keychain. So... The things that come in this month's Ipsy Box, at least for me, is this double-sided makeup brush. It is a concealer and shadow brush. It says C476, and it is from crownbrushes.com, and I will open it and show you what it looks like. I feel like I'm always looking in that direction when I need to be looking in this direction. So, one side you got a pretty, pretty fluffy little brush. The other side is more finely tipped, I guess. Tipped? I don't know. I don't know how you say it, but that's what it is. And it seems like really good quality. I have to say, the brush itself, just holding the brush, it feels very sturdy. Like, I have a fake makeup, makeup, naked two palette, and the brush in there feels so flimsy that it fell apart like the first time I used it. This feels like it's never gonna fall apart. Never, ever, ever. So. Kind of excited about this. This is probably the best brush I have in my makeup kit because I don't really have any brushes. So I'm kind of excited about having a brush. Even though I wish that one side wasn't a concealer brush more or less because I have no idea how to use a concealer brush really. So that's probably not a good thing. But Next thing in here is a Cool Way Boost Repair. So yeah, look at that bad boy. Um, it says the recovery, no, revolutionary hair repair serum. I'm not sure what it does, but I will try it out probably after I color my hair, because I'm hoping to color my hair today, because it's just looking, I don't know, boring. I don't know, like, uh, I want some red up in there. More red, I guess. Next thing in there is the lights camera lashes by Tarte it's a little small size and I actually use this I used it today because I'm kind of running low on mascara and I wanted to try it out so I used it and I have to admit when I used it I did not like it it made my eyelashes very kind of clumpy together because I'm used to using the covergirl lash blast which I feel kind of spreads your lashes out and makes them really wavy this I felt like it made my eyelashes clumpy, so I used it, and then I used my Lash Blast brush over it, because I'm, like, out of that, and I did notice that after doing my whole makeup and looking at the mirror with my whole face, I did feel like my lashes looked, I don't know, I felt like my makeup had a little kabam to it today, but I don't know if that's because I was, like, contouring and I may have done it right for once, but... I don't know, I'm going to try it a few more times and see if I like it, because I'm kind of like on the fence. I feel like if I use it and then use the other brush with it, I might be okay with it, but I feel like this, the brush that it comes with alone makes my lashes very clumpy, and I am not a fan of that. Like, I don't like it. I just don't. I'll just, I'd rather have them all poofy and beautiful than, you know, you know how it is. You know. Whatever. I don't know. I really don't. Next thing in there is a Pixie Fairy Dust Brightening Bear. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's like an eyeshadow that you, I don't know, it comes in this little thing. Sorry, my nails are atrocious. I was supposed to repaint them today, and I didn't because I haven't gotten to it. Because 
I don't know, I'm being lazy. But that is like the color. It's the first time I swatched it last time I did this video, you couldn't even see it. It just like kind of went right into my skin tone. Again, probably the lighting I had. So hopefully this video will come out better. I just got makeup all over the bag. Um the last thing in here is this NYX butter lip balm. And it is in the color Lady Fingers. Oh, I like that. It's in Lady Fingers. And it is this gorgeous color. Sorry about my nails again. And that is a swatch of that. And right next to that pin mark. So I'm excited to use that as well. So that is all that came in my Ipsy box this month. And I I have to admit, I was really excited about a lot of the stuff I got because these were a lot of brands that I have been looking at at the store, but I didn't buy them because I felt personally that they were kind of expensive. So I'm really excited. Like, my husband looked up the, uh, the Pixie eye dust stuff and because uh, I was looking at the products and I was telling him, oh, I'd love some of that for Christmas, you know, a product from that line. And, like, he's like, they're so expensive. They're, like, $10 each. So... He looked up and he found out that this right here was $10 alone, which pays for the whole bag. So I was super excited about that. And I wanted to try a NYX product. So I'm really excited about this. Still on the fence about it, but still freaking excited. And I really wanted to try um, something by NYX because I haven't... What did I say the other one was from? This is NYX, so this is... Look at me getting all things messed up. Tarte. I really wanted to try Tarte. Super excited about that. Wanted to try NYX. Freaking excited about this because I feel like people talk about the NYX butter lips constantly and say they're really good so I don't know if that's like the lip balm or the lipstick but I'm still really excited it seems to have really good like pigmentation just for a lip balm but I'm really excited about that I'm excited about the brush because I feel like this is going to be higher quality than anything I own and I'm not so sure what this is but I'm sure it'll be great I I'm sure a cool way I'm I'm sure it'll be great especially after I color my hair if I destroy it or something I'm sure it'll just bring it back to life and make it happy again so that was December's ipsy bag and I'm, I'm happy with it I really am I, I've been trying so hard not to buy a new mascara like I said I'm out of mine but I haven't bought one because I was hoping that my ipsy box would give me one or my other Walmart one would I was hoping somebody else would give it to me so so excited that I didn't buy one and I get to try a new one out which is great because that's less money I have to spend, and I'm all for that. So, let me know what you think about the products I got, and if I did something wrong or said something wrong about them. There is a chance I did, because I'm not as knowledgeable as... I'm just not knowledgeable. Let's just put it like that. So, let me know what you think. Put your comments down below. I will leave a link in case you want to subscribe to the Ipsy bag, because it is my favorite, and I... I love this bag. I, I told my husband, I'm like, if you got me another subscription for Christmas, that would be amazing. But I feel like no matter what subscription it gets me, it's not going to be as good as Ipsy because I love Ipsy. So leave me a comment down below. Be sure to like this video if you love me rambling about makeup. And subscribe scrap somewhere on here. And have a great day and happy holidays. Um, have a great holiday. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you want for Christmas. I'm thinking about doing a giveaway with candles because I think I bought too many. And let me know if you'd like a giveaway. I've never done a giveaway and I feel like I have no subscribers, but for those few subscribers I have, I would love to do a giveaway and give back to you because I'm just a nice person. So leave me a comment down below telling me if you would like that or not. And have a great holiday. Bye!